What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Stocks by the Numbers and today I'm coming back to you with another update because I am on fire. We now went three for three here with these calls and I got to give you another update just to remind you yet again about another time that I was that awesome. Another time, name of the company Microvision, ticker symbol MVIS, listed here on the NASDAQ. Stock closed $6.37, up 23 cents, three and three quarter percent. Right now, after hours down, at 544, down 93 cents, over 14 and a half percent. What's going on? They're issuing more stock up to 75 million. This is why you do not invest into crap companies. Now, again, we spoke originally, I believe it was back, I'm looking at it right now, one second. March 23rd is when I made the video. A little bit more of a popular video, had over 500 views, 11 likes, 5 dislikes. All because this was a meme stock and I didn't say what everyone else said and that it was going to go to the moon and you should load the boat. I spoke about the symmetrical triangle. I spoke about this very important um, support level here at the low 150s. And I said that, in my opinion, symmetrical triangle is not very definitive of bullish or bearish. And you have to wait for the supposed breakout. And, of course, the company post earnings and brought in a whopping $700,000. And for some reason, you guys took the stock from 230 240 and change up to $8. Now, of course, I didn't play it because I know that you guys tend to explode these stocks that really don't warrant anyone's attention, and you explode them 300, 350%. So listen, if you did happen to get involved in Microvision down in the low twos, and you sold up in the sevens and the eights, hey, listen, congratulations. If you didn't get involved in Microvision because you were unsure of what's going on, guess what? You're welcome for the video. Because what I said in the Discord, I know a lot of you are not in the Discord. If you're looking for short-term trade ideas, it is much easier for me to just type it into the Discord if I see something setting up, and then you can check it out yourself and consider taking advantage of the situation. If I have to make uh, a quick YouTube video, five-minute video, about something I see potentially lining up with Microvision, by the time I make the video, set up the thumbnail, upload it, they format it into standard def, high def, they do copyright checks, so it's going to take an hour just to get the video up, so you might have missed the trade. But I will say, I know at least one person in our Discord saw me type that this stock went from two to eight for no reason, and everyone should be buying puts on them and just ride it back down into the threes and into the twos. It's going to be easy, fast, quick, free money, basically. And now what are we seeing? Almost down 15% issuing new shares. Why are they issuing new shares? Because the company sucks. And you guys, again, I really don't understand why you bought it. And then the to have this absolute explosion on, on these dribbles of revenue coming in is an embarrassment. Look at the market cap of this stock up to 1.12 billion. We just looked at STEM. We looked at Fubo. These companies are doing significantly better than a microvision. And you guys aren't talking about it. It's not a meme stock. It's not on Reddit. And those are the ones not getting pumped up. The STEMs, the Fubos, the Goodyear tires of the world. These are the ones that should be on Reddit, in my opinion. These are the stocks that you guys should be talking about, tweeting about, looking for videos about, right? Upvoting, sharing a, a video that I do on a company like a Goodyear Tire or a Fubu, a Fubo, right? You, you guys should be spreading the word like wildfire. Instead, you're worried about microvision. So again, if you were involved on this BS earnings report and you made a quick, you know, 200% or something like that, congratulations. If you're still involved with the stock, in my opinion, you're a fool because most stocks don't move like that. So if you got in at sub two and a half and then the other day it was at seven and a half and you really thought you were going to get more, shame on you, right? Bulls make money, bears make money, pigs get slaughtered. Don't be a pig, especially in this uncertain volatile market with this spaz behind the steering wheel over there. And, uh, you know, economic data keeps coming out negative, but markets are continuing to rise. They want to make it seem like everything's okay. They just want to completely suck you in and have you 100% invested in the market. Then they're going to crash it, take 60, 70, 90% of your wealth, and then they're going to have cash on hand, like always, and they're going to reposition themselves into brand name companies that got absolutely destroyed. 
Why would they do it like that? Because that's the Buffett method. That is the proven method that we have been showing you consistently works with companies like Fubo, Rolls-Royce, showing returns for us and shareholders of over 50 plus percent just over the course of the last couple of months. So again, you could hope and pray <clears throat> that something like a microvision explodes 200% for you, or you can just watch, be a spectator, take what the market gives you. And here, the market was giving you a $2 stock at $8 a share. So this was free money here these last couple of days. I'm sure a lot of big boys stepped in and took nice, sizable positions betting against microvision. And of course, reading a headline like this, now issuing more shares, stock down 15%, music to their ears. Because not only is the inevitable happening, but now it's happening even faster and it's going to be at a more accelerated rate. So next earnings report, estimates of 800000 Obviously, it doesn't matter. This company really isn't doing anything. And then they brought in a few dollars and you guys rewarded them. So in my opinion, big red arrow, boom, back down to this trend line. You're looking at 270 and then we'll most likely break down to the next trend line of $2 and then 190 and eventually 150 as we anticipated as the stock exploded for no reason from those levels after uh, a lot of young people got stimulus money and has since been cratering and dropping down of course with our fake spike happening here in the last quarter switching over here look i'm still on stem i'm still on stem baby i'm everywhere Whew, look at this rsi was up to north of 90 uh, yet, for some reason, uh, the stock continued to climb. MACD, unrecognizable, now preparing to cross and drop. Remember, this is probably going to break and cross now on this 15% drop. So now, the again, the selling is really going to accelerate itself. And maybe you can have a slight hiccup at 493, but I seriously doubt it in my opinion. RSI still up at 67.5. This stock's going back to the low $3 right there at that level. Switching over here to the weekly, look at this, RSI still up at 75 and a half, made, oh, oh, wow, that's interesting, actually. I did not notice this because I don't watch this company because it's trash, in my opinion. But right here, this is actually technically looks like a bearish hammer. So now we have a bearish hammer close above a Bollinger Band here at the top. So you know it's probably going to pull back and start heading back into the fives. But now the company issues 75 million worth of shares. And now they, you know, basically going to bring the stock down to that level regardless. So very interesting that that happened. Actually, I did not know that. But here on the weekly, you can see the MACD was really climbing and separating. And now it's going to pull back down and cross and head back down where chances are. Because, again, uh, a company that brings in 700 grand finally for a quarter uh, does not deserve to move 300 percent. They do not deserve a billion plus market cap. And I'm sure this video is also going to get a lot of dislikes like my original video got. But hey, listen, the, the first one through the wall is always the bloodiest. You got to swim against the stream. Just because a bunch of 20-year-olds are yammering on Reddit about some useless stock going from 2 to 7 doesn't mean that it will. And more importantly, if it does, like I said, it doesn't mean that it should be there. So you can just wait for the fake explosion to happen and then load up and bet against the rest of the crowd. And you're going to make more money on the downside than the few bucks that they probably made on the upside. Believe me when I tell you. And your move is going to be justified. And, you know, you're going to know a realistic time frame of when it's going to happen. You're not going to get in here and, you know, wait a year and a half to have some explosion and be stressing for 18 months as to why the stock is volatile. Why is it down 6% today? What's going on? What are they doing? Did they tweet about something? No, forget all that. We buy brand name companies that have been beaten up, that are bringing in strong, healthy numbers. We love our Fubos. We love our Rolls Royces. You know why? Because they're both up over 50% for us. Fubo, in some cases, up north of 100% for shareholders just inside of the last couple of months. I would definitely rather have a portfolio full of those than a couple of these any day of the week. And I'm going to leave it there. Once again, Stocks by the Numbers, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop it down in the comments section. I'm usually very quick to reply. Like the video, thumbs up, helps out the algorithm. Share the video, tell your friends. Helps me get more eyes on the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Love to see my community grow. About 20% of all viewers are subscribed to the channel. That is basically double the average YouTuber who says that only about 
8 to 10% of their viewers actually hit the subscribe button on this channel, north of 20%, and that is all because of you guys. Thank you so much for really seeing through the BS and understanding that I have some knowledge, some expertise to offer here, and I appreciate, again, you liking the videos and supporting the channel, coming into the Discord, saying your kind words it means so much to me. But moving forward, again, like I always say, I understand that markets are rocky and they're volatile and they are uncertain. So I do wish everyone success. I hope everyone makes a couple of dollars. Thanks for stopping by, guys. See you in the next one.